Hi, today we're going to talk about dyeing a beautiful dress. We're just going to tip the edges a little bit, make a little pretty pink edging on the skirt of this dress. I've pre-washed my dress, turned inside out and inside my bag. I love my bag. I've had this forever. It's a good bag. And I'm going to go set it up downstairs in my basement, right side out. And I'm going to pull the buttons off also because I want to dye the buttons. Even though I'm not dyeing the top of the dress at all, I want those buttons that pretty pink too. So I'll meet you down in my basement. Bye-bye. Okay, we're down in my basement. Now as you can see, this dress has a layer here and then a bottom layer of this beautiful organza and then just a satin layer underneath. And the layers, this top layer, goes up and down and is a perfect dress to be doing just this tipping on. And I'm excited. And I've taken the buttons off the top. I measured it's two centimeters um, between each of the buttons. So I'm good on that. So here we go. First I'm going to do the top layer and then I'll do the bottom layer. Let me get this top layer bagged up. All right, I've got my dress hung up and the underneath layer and the train and all that skirt are inside this bag. They're being protected while I do this outside layer. Can you see that bag? It's got it all wrapped up. So I'm just doing this outside layer first. And as you can see, there's no way you can dip this the way it's where it's the edges are all over, which is what's beautiful. And this will actually really accent the beauty of that when we've got that line drawn just in a soft, soft pink on here. I'm going to get my stuff mixed up now, my pink. Bye bye. Okay, let's get this dye mixed up. Let me show you what I've got. First of all, I've put a black sheet down on top of my tarp, and then I've got a dark towel that I don't care if it gets dye put on it. And I've got a bucket, just an ice cream bucket. I've got my water in there. I've, in here is color fixident. Um, when you're doing, not dipping the whole thing, this spraying the color fixident is better. Now it's half a bottle of fixident to three gallons. So for this little bottle, I used probably a third of a cup. And that's going to be noodles. I think that's a little excess on my thing. We're going to be using a paintbrush. And we use that a little bit on the blue. I've got my buttons here. And I've got a strainer. I'll be putting the buttons in here and shaking them in the dye and getting them done probably be my last thing I do. And then I've got my writ. This is the petal pink and this is um, the regular one for pink but where I'm wanting it super light and not very strong color I'm okay. It's not a poly one. It's just the regular but it is like I said, I just want a little touch of pink. Now I also brought down my ecru, my favorite ecru that I just mixed up in that thing because I may feel like that pink is too bright and I would like to have this available if I need to, to tone it down just a bit. Don't need a lot. I'm going to start with a little and then we can always work to a brighter. Oh, that looks very bright. That scares me. Ah, that kind of scares me. I feel like that's too much. Maybe it's not. Okay, I got the color just about right where I like it. I want to show you, I actually needed to add more. And I added a little bit of the ecru because it seemed to fresh of a pink. 
I guess would be a good word for it. Just needed a little bit freshening up. Now, can you see how I'm just getting that tipped on there? Just tipping the ends. And it's kind of a blushy pink with that acro in it. Um, can you see how I'm getting that on there? Let's move over to the next spot. There we go. We're just going to tip. I'm making sure that this rolled hem edge is getting nice and pink. I'm going to go all the way around. I finished going all the way around the whole dress, tipping it with the dye. And now, just to get it to blend, I've got my bucket and I've got my paintbrush and it still has a little bit of pink in but it's mostly just clear water and I'm just going to blend down all through it just very quickly blend down and so that we just get a nice little taper with with just pure water and not with the dye just to blend from the pink line up into here I just want to blend it down all right now I have my color fixative and I'm going to put that on in my spray bottle and I'm just going to spray the whole dress, all those edges and then I'll let it sit and on for 20 to 30 minutes and I'll get back to you and then we'll get started on the next layer. It's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how it's going. Bye-bye. Now I'm going to blow dry this dress just a little bit to set the fixative, the die cut. Holy cow, this is turning out better than I even thought. Can you see the difference between the bottom layer and this second? So pretty, I'm excited to get going on the bottom layer. I have decided, made an executive decision, I am not going to die the underneath lining layer at all. I just love the softness of the sheer organza layers and that's all I'm going to tip. I'm going to leave the lining white. I think it'll help make all of this pop out and I am so excited to get going. Bye bye. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's kind of a watermark, a waterline along there where it's darker. So what we need to do when you see those, and I think it is partly just organza and some other ones, just this has just plain water on it. I'm just wiping it out and blending it in and we'll let it dry. A little bit there too where I've blended it, it's gone. And it's not everywhere, but every once in a while I've got that line. And I want to blend it out, and it's so easy. This I really like the paintbrush method of dyeing because it gives you so much control so that you can get things all smoothed out. No worries when you get water lines. Just blend them out. Let's see. Oh, that was a little bit right there. Yep. No worries. All right. Here's our beautiful dress. Do you see how high that neckline is? It really is a turn off. The girls just don't like it. Here we are. I've brushed out those water lines on the top layer. I've sprayed the bottom layer, tinted it all, and then sprayed it with the color fixative. There's my color fixative. I'm waiting for 20 minutes on that, and then I'm going to put it in the wash, and I'll let you see the finished product. Bye-bye. Okay, I just pulled it out of the washer, and I love it. I love it. It's so soft and pretty. While it's still damp out of the washing machine, this is when I steam it. It's the best time ever. And... I know I showed this before, but I put a sock, a nylon, on top of my steamer so that I don't get any 
I doubt there would be any dye on this. It's very light in that, but I don't want to take any risks. So I always put a sock or a nylon. It's a nylon, not just a regular sock, a nylon. It's like half of one. And, and then I steam this. So pleased with how this turned out. I didn't dye this underneath layer. And I think it really, by keeping that white, it really makes this bottom layer pop out so that you can see it and it doesn't just blend in with that. I'm excited to get it steamed. It's so much easier to steam when it's just slightly damp and makes a big difference in how the dress ends up. Let's see. Nope. So I'm going to steam that now. And, and then this dress will be done. I'll let it sit overnight. And, and then we're good to go.